Well, let me just say I think it's a great day for Baltimore. That reaction from Baltimore Mayor Catherine Pugh came after federal judge James Bradar signed the Baltimore police consent decree, turning it into a court order. The problems that necessitate this consent decree are urgent, the judge wrote. Now it's time to enter the decree and thereby require all involved to get to work on repairing the many fractures so poignantly revealed by the records. Attorney General Jeff Sessions, put in place by President Donald Trump, again criticized the consent decree. The Department of Justice under the Obama administration negotiated it. Sessions said Baltimore has a violent crime crisis. I have grave concerns that some provisions of this decree, Sessions wrote, will reduce the lawful powers of the police department and result in a less safe city. There are clear departures, he went on, from many proven principles of good policing that we fear will result in more crime. The city has consistently argued the opposite, that reform and crime reduction go hand in hand. I believe that we can do both together, that a reform police department, uh, trust by the community in this process, I think will make a difference down the road in terms of the res uh, us reducing crime in our city. The consent decree aims to improve police training and equipment. The damning report that led to it cited long-running unconstitutional practices. The citizens participate in it. We expect for um, the police department to be a world-class police department when we finish. Even with the now reluctant Department of Justice, the mayor says she expects federal money to finance some reforms. What we're talking about, especially the hardware piece, is technology that will improve policing in the city. And that's what we will be looking for federal dollars and assistance to do. Now, the police department also applauded the signing of this consent decree today. Late this afternoon, the Justice Department issued another statement, an even stronger statement, saying that in the future, the administration, the Trump administration's attorney general, will not support this kind of consent decree. Reporting live tonight from City Hall, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.